what's up everyone so it's been a long time since i've made a video i've just been busy with everything uh work-wise personal life but but uh i'm just i needed to make something so uh now that i got the jeep up and running um got it registered got all the issues fixed i think it's a good time to to talk about the jeep so without further ado um i started obviously the the video out with the cold start it sounds amazing with the cam and everything and the the built ls3 um so yeah denton racing down in phoenix did a amazing job on this so let's uh let's go into a quick walk around of the my 2016 uh jeep wrangler jk rubicon which literally nothing that came with the rubicon package is on the jeep anymore so don't make the same mistake i did all right so here it is it's my 2016 we have, uh, I don't know, let's start with uh, a big exterior, but um, so white paint, uh, black hardtop, looking at maybe painting the hardtop white, but for now this is it. Uh, 41 and a half inch Pipple uh, rockers. Um, probably gonna be switching to trail wrappers soon, but for the tires, so yeah, 41 and a half by, uh, I think they're, yeah, 13 and a half inches wide. So uh, on a 20 by 10 ATX slab, these are a painted uh, gloss black here, just really dirty right now, and then uh, gloss black rings that finally got some some scars on uh, from our recent or our recent wheeling trip. So um, as you can see, I'm rocking a uh, Dynatrack axles. I got a, actually I got an 80 in the rear, um, Pro Rock 80, and then the front I have an XD60 that we'll talk about here in a second. So let's get back to the the back side. So what's new from the last video that I did of the walk around was. Um, as you can see, the corner corner armor is uh, different, and the taillights are different. So um, decided I've always wanted the flush um, taillights. So these are like the uh, the French kit taillights. I think Genrite makes um, between the uh, the armor, and then they, they sell the, the taillights. So uh, so I just love this look. I think it's so clean. Um, I mean, you guys tell me what you think. But I like the yeah French in look to just because I don't the, some of these come with like a rectangle around it. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't really like that look. And plus the taillight still sticks out and that kind of defeats the purpose for me. So yeah, motor built, um, spare tire delete with a third brake light. And I do have a camera uh, for uh, reverse camera, but I've been having a lot of issues. I think there's issues with the wiring that I'm gonna try to fix. So uh, what's also new is, actually this is not new anymore, but we're gonna move on to the rear bumper. Uh, I don't believe that has changed since the last video that I made, but it's a Genrite uh, aluminum rear bumper with these lights that are uh, hooked up to the reverse. So, uh, super bright, but not like blinding by any means. Um, and then we'll get a better look here at the the uh, Pro Rock 80. So yeah, Dyna it is a Dynatrack axle, um, just the, the logo popped off, and I think on the front too, so I'm gonna see if I can get new ones, or I honestly don't care that they're not on there. but. Right here, you got you can see the Evo double throwdown uh, rear suspension with King Shocks uh, coilovers, uh, triple bypass and coilovers. There you go, you can see that. Uh, it's been an amazing kit so far. I, I haven't really used it for like high speed off roading uh, because it's just where I live. <laughs> they don't really have opportunities for that. So as far as like crawling and just uh, simple trails, it obviously is more than plenty. So. So that's the rear suspension. Let's move on to, so yeah, I'll go back into the corner armor. Comes all the way up here. Um, and we just painted it white just to match the Jeep. And then we got the Genrite, um, I think they call like boat sliders or whatever, um, this is the sliders. I uh, painted those gloss black as well. And then the rock skins by Genrite. So pretty much all the uh, new armor uh, is Genrite. All the armor is Genrite minus the uh, these are poison spider f uh, fenders, and we did. They used to be like a matte black, but now we did white on top and a gloss side. I, this is what I want to do from the um, beginning, but I was stationed in Guam at the time. And they just couldn't make it happen, I guess. So we're also running the uh, sway, uh, anti rock sway bar in the rear, and then some king bump stops, air bump stops. If you can see those. Um, all right, we'll get into the interior here in a second, but we'll go back to the front. So Evo double throw down in front as well. Uh, coilovers and triple bypass shocks. Once again, overkill for 
pretty much what I use it for, but I wanted to kind of buy the ultimate kit at first and then not have to worry about it. Then we got the Evo front bumper. Uh, I've had this since the beginning and it does the trick. Uh, Warren Winch, Factor 55. We'll go back down to the axles running the XD Pro Rock, um, or Pro Rock XD60 and then PSC uh, steering. We ended up doing a um, skid plate for the steering because it's expensive and you don't want to damage it. And it actually looks like I didn't even damage it. Can't really tell, but um, from the most recent wheeling trip, so that's good. Um, so yeah, we got that. And then we'll get, and then JW speaker headlights, they're probably like four or five years old now. So they're still doing okay, but I'm probably need to upgrade here soon. And then, yeah, up here we got the rigid um, dually lights. They've been super bright. I don't use them a whole lot, but also don't drive this at night very often. All right, let's go all the way into the rear of the Jeep. Okay, so this is probably where most of the changes happen besides the power plant of the Jeep itself. But we did... Generite cage painted gloss black. We tried to go gloss white, but it just was showing the imperfections too much and we um, Just decided to it would be best to do black. So uh, Paired up with some JL uh, speakers uh, and then there's some speakers up in the front that I'll show you and then a JL uh, 10 inch sub I uh, just threw some patches that I've collected throughout the years in there uh, And then this uh, I cannot remember the company. I want to say Viair, but don't quote me on that but we did a, a, a tank in the rear uh so i can uh, the lockers are hooked up to it and then i can fill up my tires but they just take forever so i have a power tank that i i use um specifically for tires i just need to fill it up but here i'll zoom out a little bit so so this is the rear setup um it's not, i saw a pretty good amount of space i mean uh i can fit a toolbox in here i can fit my yeti cooler so and then I got this mini built Molly carrier with bags and just have a little bit of tools in here and some uh, equipment, but nothing too crazy. So close this up and then we'll go into the rear seat. I don't think anything's changing there. So this will be quick. Rear seat, you can see uh, seats have remained stock, but the cage comes over here. Uh, we threw some rock lights as the dome light because that obviously goes away when you switch the cage out. And then just a harness bar with the Genrite. Um, I'm only running harnesses in the, the passenger seat right now because they're just a pain to get in and out of unless you're wheeling. And even then when you're wheeling, if you keep on getting out, it's it's a pain. So I, I rarely use the harnesses anymore, but I have to on the passenger side because my normal seatbelt stopped working. So I need to get that fixed. Um, so let's move into the, the front. All right, so front, I don't really think much has changed. Just a few things that um, you'll see in a second, but PRP seats, the Enduro seats with uh, blue stitching, suede, and, and leather. So uh, they're super comfortable. I have the S Pod. This is what the six switch system. Um, had it for since the beginning, and it's been great so far. I mean, I use all the lights or the switches now, so I might have to upgrade eventually in the future. Uh, but I would say the only thing that, um, that we really change inside, and we, obviously we have this new Alpine. Um, I-209 uh, head unit. It's awesome. It shows all the diagnostics and everything that I can show you here in a second. One of my favorite things is um, like vehicle info. Now that I have the V8 in there, I I can check all my diagnostics and everything. So coolant temps, intake temps, voltage, you can change kind of all of it. And then obviously the great MPGs from the LS3. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I love it and then just press the camera button up here and then like i said camera is kind of messed up i think the wiring it could be the camera but i don't know i've switched it out a lot so let's check out the i mean what i'm sure most of you were watching for it in the engine so so here it is it's a little dirty because it was muddy when i went wheeling but here's the main thing so we got the ls3 from mass motorsports ls3 block with ls7 heads um denton racing did all the work uh, I wish I knew as much about engines as I should, but it's a, I believe it's a 630 or 640 crank horsepower engine, and then just got a dyno tune, and with the SAE correction, we're looking at, I think it was like 400 and, 
15 uh, to the wheels. So that's impressive for 42 inch tires. And that's not even a 101. We could have, he was just worried with, um, on the dyno, how fast these 42s were spinning. So if it was one to one, we'd probably be closer to 430, 440 wheel, which is insane. But we also have this Genesis dual battery setup. And then there's the S-Pod connections and everything. So uh, I love it. Uh, I mean, it snapped the belt kind of like the first day I had it back here, but um, we just threw a heavy duty belt on. It's had no issues since. Um, if you guys have specific questions about the build, I'd love to answer them. Uh, like I said, I don't know as much as I should about this whole overall build, but if you have questions, leave them in the comments and then I'll try to answer them myself. If not, I'll get the answer from the builder. But yeah, like I said, Denton Racing did all of the work and they did an amazing job. So yeah, this is my 2016 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, but no longer an actual Rubicon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for some more Jeep content and Tesla content and Lamborghini content and who knows, might get a diesel back in the garage, but we'll see. Until next time, thanks for watching.